Well, violent crimes surging across the U.S., frustrating many Americans, and some progressive prosecutors are now under fire from residents who feel their policies are too soft and don't keep streets safe. Right now, there is a recall effort in California, over 715,000 signatures so far, to remove Democratic District Attorney George Gascon in L.A. County. News Nation's Nancy Liu is live. Nancy, could this backlash force a change? Well, Nicole, the recall effort against D.A. Gascon appears to be moving forward and on track for a November vote. This prospect comes amid a swell of backlash against progressive prosecutors who critics claim are just too soft on crime. Simple possession of a gun is not considered a violent crime. Okay. L.A. District Attorney George Gascon recently defended why the alleged killer of two El Monte police officers was out on probation. The killings gave new momentum to the recall effort against him. And now the initial screening of signatures has yielded enough verifications for a full count. Supporters are encouraged, outraged by the uptick in violent crime. It's a, it's a disaster. Former D.A. Steve Cooley is among those blaming the progressive agenda. Prosecutors should obey the law that is on the books, not make up their own laws, uh, interpose their own ideology, uh, and uh, interfere uh, with the, the normal workings of the justice system. Progressive defenders have argued dated tough on crime approaches have not made our community safer, but it produced insecurity and instability that has increased recidivism rates and exacerbated homelessness in our communities. We won't stop. San Francisco ousted progressive DA Chesa Boudin in a recall just last month. There is also anti progressive momentum in New York among the critics, the widows of fallen officers. I know you were tired of these laws. Man Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg has only been on the job since January, but in that time, an exodus of 12% of his staff. Tim Fox has betrayed it, the black and brown community. Despite outrage in Chicago, progressive Cook County DA Kim Fox narrowly won re-election. In Philly, a push to oust progressive DA Larry Krasner has him pushing back against previous policies. Mass incarceration. Uh, it includes the defunding of public schools and prevention, and it includes illegal tactics used by police that have been incredibly harmful. I have chosen a different path. Now, a spokesperson for DA Gascon tells News Nation that as they await the outcome of the signature count, they remain focused on their work and creating a more equitable justice system. Voters should know by August 17th whether the Gascon recall will be on a November ballot. Nicole? All right, so in just a few weeks. Nancy, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.